I keep from singing. My life flows on in endless song, above earth's lamentation. I hear the real, though far off hymn that hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging. Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for gathering here as we celebrate Mass here in the sanctuary, along with those that are following online at home. Today's Mass is being celebrated for the repose of the soul of Don Lambert. And also, I would like to celebrate this Mass for our intentions, but especially for these good rains we receive. But we pray for those places where they don't have rain, mm. so that they may have it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord God, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that scold through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel... Hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter and take possession of the land which the Lord your God, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully. For thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has a God so close to it as to the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today. However, take care and be reasonably in your guard not to forget the things with, with, with your own eyes that have seen them, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. The response, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glory to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his commands to the earth. Uh, to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, 
his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord of Jerusalem. Your blessing. May Father. Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Glory to you, word of God, Lord of Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obey and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, today we hear all about God's commandments. The first reading is all about the Ten Commandments God has given Moses and the people of Israel. And he wants them to keep them faithfully with love and with service. But in the Gospel today, we hear Jesus also continue to say that he didn't come to change the law, but to accomplish the law to fulfill it, the law. But he cautioned us that don't put others to do something but because of you. I always, when I, I receive the message that Father Daniel, you are going to stay with the seminarians, I always ask myself, what am I going to show these young seminarians because they are coming to stay with me I have to give them good example I have to live what God wants us to be because by seeing me what I do that's what they follow and it's easy for the young seminarians to go in the wrong direction just for one priest. It's because they are looking, they are following. And once they take you as a model, they are gone. So when I heard about the readings of today, Jesus has cautioned us that we have to lead those little ones to follow God's commandments as they should do. And for us who are leading them, we have to be good example to lead them to Jesus. But are we doing that? Sometimes we say, oh, don't follow me. But I'm teaching you, don't follow me. What outcomes? No. What you teach, you have to put into actions. So every time when we stand in the pulpit, what we say, we have to put them into actions. And that's why sometimes it's so difficult. And you know us very well. The parishioners, they know they are ministers. And that's why sometimes they say, who is that? And so and so, oh, we know him. Yeah, you know us. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to fulfill God's commandments. And Jesus has brought just 
the commandments of love, the golden rule, to love one another as we love God. And when we do that, we'll fulfill the law. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we know that sometimes to become a leader, to lead others to you, it can be a challenge. It gives us courage always to humble ourselves and to open up our hearts to walk through in the journey of life. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us to call on the wisdom of God as we journey through life as beloved sons and daughters of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to desire to obey the commandments of our God out of love for him and our neighbor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Spirit to discern on all those being confirmed tonight and for each person to realize that power of the Holy Spirit is their daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Holy Spirit. For our YOA youth and, the and volunteers to seek God first in all that they do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Lenten journeys to deepen our relationship with God and to help us understand more clearly his unconditional love for us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to see as Christ sees, hear as Christ hears, and love as Christ loves, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. So... Just gone the script who went out this way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what we have begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, 
And so help us to imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we are claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and profess and your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks to that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <laughs> Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Don Lambert, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in their hope of the resurrection and all have died in all mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us, us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
you will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all our all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Tom, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. We are called to be good examples to those people whom we are leading. Your children, your co-workers, your friends, be a good example to take them to Jesus. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ending. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing the second verse of number 447, How Can I Keep From Singing? Though all of the tumult and the strife, I hear the music ringing. It sounds and echoes in my soul. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm. While to that rock I'm clinging, since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? <laughs>